All right, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, get some better performance on Tears of the Kingdom. Um, there's been a new update for the game file, uh, as well as a lot of improvements uh, for the different mods that we use uh, for the game. Um, so what we're going to need is a couple of files. I'm going to put them in uh, the description of the video but essentially uh, we're getting this mod pack right here and of course you're going to be needing the update for tears of the kingdom as well uh, I can't link a shortcut for the update to tears of the kingdom um, Nintendo has been cracking down pretty hard on that but I can list uh, these mods right here which don't have any game files themselves um, so once you have Yuzu opened up uh, once you have your update file once you do have it you will wanna open up Yuzu hit file install files to NAND you'll go locate that said file uh, for the update to the game itself and then click open it'll ask if you want to install it and you should be good to go um, you do need to be in desktop mode to play around with these settings it's just a lot easier uh, and then once you get the mods for tears of the kingdom um, you're gonna basically so once you open up user you got your game right here you're gonna right click you're gonna hit open up mod data location and this is where you're gonna drag and drop them right so in this file that I provide you'll have this main master folder essentially you'll have all these guys so you wanna drag click right click copy and once you get up into the mod folder, you'll paste it right there. Uh, you'll know that you do this correctly for the mods because when you left click and hit properties, you'll see all these mods that you can select from. Um, that's how you know that you got the mods all loaded in correctly and you got them in the correct folder that they need to be. Uh, now, once we get these mods open up, um, this kind of uh, tutorial is going to be a little bit more catered to the Steam Deck. However, these mods are all fantastic for pretty much any platforms for gaining FPS. Uh, the Steam Deck struggles to run this game at all, for the most part. Um, these mods can help it get a stable 30 FPS. Some people have stated that they get better 60 FPS. Uh, functionality uh, but for the for the sake of just performance and functionality we're gonna be going ahead and running with uh, we're gonna be running with uh, the 30 FPS the 30 FPS is gonna be kind of our our best our best bet um, here uh, if you want the 60 FPS these are all right here uh, there's a PlayStation uh, mod for the U the UI so you can have that enabled if you want um, however uh, I mean it's a Steam Deck so you're not gonna really need that unless you're using like a like a Bluetooth controller so for those who might be able to use it that'd be great for those who don't you don't know one needs to worry about it um now this one's a first person mod this one's pretty cool but uh, you don't really need that one and then of course this is the 60 FPS mod. We're not gonna really be using that at all. Uh, if you have also installed the update correctly, uh, you're gonna see uh, this guy in here. This isn't actually part of the mod list. Um, this is actually gonna be part of, uh, part of uh, the update itself. So that update's gonna be right there for you. Um, it'll say 1.2.0. That's the one you wanna have. Uh, the shadow run right here is basically a performance boost. It uh, kind of makes the shadows look like garbage. 
So if you're using this on like a high-end laptop or a decent gaming setup, uh, you, you can go ahead and disable this. But for the Steam Deck, we're going to want to go ahead and uh, have that on. Uh, the LOD improvement is pretty nice to have. The island fix fi fixes some gl graphical glitches. Uh, dynamic FPS, basically, it can help with the FPS. Uh, the internal FXA uh, is it's optional. I'm going to go ahead and run it without it just to see how it goes. Uh, the, it, the game itself has an internal FSR uh, downscaling to kind of lower the internal resolution to help it run smooth. Uh, I played around with this for a little bit. Uh, having it disabled kind of helps the game look a little bit better because we don't really need it. Uh, the anti sopteric filtering fix and of course the 30 FPS static. Uh, we use that with of course the dynamic FPS thing. Um, and as far as the uh, settings go for this game, uh, they're not too, too, too crazy. Um, CPU, we're going to want to have accuracy on safe. Um, and just kind of replicate the settings that you see here. All these are enabled. Um, in graphics, uh, we want to make sure that we're using Vulkan. Uh, if you run with OpenGL or something else, you're pretty much just it's just going to suck really, really, really bad. Uh, the pipeline cache is the shader cache that can come in handy. Uh, the game will run like garbage for like a minute or two, but then it will run smooth as butter because it's building shaders. Uh, and then of course we want to force 16 by 10. The Steam Deck has a awkward aspect ratio. So if you have it six by 16 by 9, you'll have these little black borders at the top, which uh, are kind of annoying and irritating at best. Um, and then we just have the resolution at one times, um, use global AMD super resolution, anti-aliasing. We don't really need it, but, uh, we can try running with some SMAA just to see what it looks like to make, maybe make the game look a little bit smoother. Um, oop, and then I forgot we got to go in advanced graphics. We have to make sure we set anti-sopteric filtering to 16. That is important uh, for one of the mods. They require that to be uh, on. And then of course, just mock all the settings you see here. Uh, this is the one is unchecked. Accuracy level is high. Um, and of course, uh, this is set to best quality. Audio, uh, stereo, doesn't really matter. Input profiles, doesn't really matter. Um, you just basically want to mock all of those settings that I got going on and you should be pretty okay. Uh, after that, you should be able to go ahead and roll the game up. And we will, let's see. I'm also running on the early access build. Personally, I have found that the early access build, it is like, I think like an extra five bucks a month. However, it is extremely worth it because I've noticed on my gaming rig as well as my Steam Deck, it has made a huge performance increase. Uh, I, I saw a massive, massive import performance increase uh, even on just the Steam Deck in and of itself. It helped out quite a bit. Um, don't worry about a black screen because it, it, uh, it might take a hot minute to show up. Um, you know, that's kind of normal honestly so uh it it's the steam deck so it, it just takes a long 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 time to load up the game if you play this on like a computer or a desktop with an nvm e drive you'll see a significantly lower loading speed or if you've upgraded the internal storage on a steam deck you'll probably see uh, a better performance on that uh, don't worry if the loading screen kind of looks like a hot garbled mess. It's it's one of the, it's an issue caused by one of the mods. Um, it's it's cosmetic at this point. Um, but don't freak out if you see that. It, it's just kind of part of one of those mods. Once you load up the game, uh, you see pretty much. You might be a little fuzzy at first, but if you let it run around for a minute, it's gonna start building up that shader cache. You'll have a couple of micro stutters at first, um, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, you, you look at, the, if you ever uh, are in desktop mode, you'll see this guy right down here. 
is building shader cache. So anything you do will build a shader cache just like that. Um, building shaders, you know, every, anytime you perform pretty much any action, it, it's gonna do that. Uh, these will cause like slight micro stutters here and there. Uh, once those shader caches build though, however, you'll see that uh, my frames are pretty decent. They're pretty all right. Mm, looks like we're pretty much getting 20 to 30 in this kind of area here. Uh, I've noticed on average though, I get pretty much 30. It could be that I'm using that SMA filter and that's taken a little bit of the performance out of the, out of the game here. Um, but this has been pretty playable for me. Um, sh building the shader caches is pretty annoying. But on average, the game looks the best with these specific settings. Um, while maintaining decent, decent frames. Um, we can kind of play around with this a little bit more. Let me see if we can try to get just a little bit better performance here. Um, let's see, it's gonna take forever to, to stop. Oh yeah, I got this running in the background. Let me close that out. Um, the LOD improvement is probably uh, unnecessary. Uh, and then let's maybe turn that off. And then let's go back to that SMA filter because uh, we probably really don't need that. Um, that's probably just sucking up just a little bit performance. So let's see how uh, let's see how this runs. Shader cap, blah 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 blah. Seems like it's running just a smidge bit smoother. before so I loaded up a previous save just to see how well it was doing and uh, it's actually looking like it's doing pretty good. Um, I'm currently running this boss fight. 
and uh, it's been running at a pretty decent 30 little dips here and there but uh, after you let the shaders kind of build up a little bit um, it has some pretty solid performance uh, it's definitely a lot better than my previous video I noticed that a lot it would dip into like the 20s like pretty atrociously like it would stay in the 20s like all the time uh, but now it kind of feels like it's uh oh, sh shoot it feels like it's sticking a little bit more than to 30 than it was sticking closer to 20 so it's doing a lot better I feel like uh, I hope that this video has helped a lot of people if you guys got any ideas uh, let me know I'll be including uh, descriptions for all where I found these updated uh, mods for you guys.